been, I don't know, 30 years or more. No, I, no, it could be more than that because my son was in, still in the belly, my okay. wife, okay. my boy's mother. Um, Y'all played at the singer opening for, um, boy, uh, jazz, Herbie Hancock. Okay. I'm talking, I'm talking years ago. Now, let me yeah, tell you. You're talking about 1984. Could, yes. Let me tell you. That's when we did the Herbie Hancock tour, 1984. The summer of 1984. It was Jazz Fest. Yeah, yeah. And y'all came, and my, my mom, one of her friends and all this, you know, because my mom was tripping out. And, you know, she was like, oh, this smoking weed with the rest of the dude and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I saw her friend in the audience, and she came to see Steel Pulse. Yeah. So you want some ice? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. The show, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you didn't want to use this stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need that, so put that in the Let me see if, um, yeah, how I came to the show. I had, you remember, uh, I had a friend, Michael. Had, Ma oh, Mike. yeah, yeah, of course, I know Mike. Mike, Mike, Mike is my boy, to, man. He used, to, he used to cook for him, yeah, yeah, oh, okay. And Mike, he was living okay. in New Orleans. Mike was a cook and a bodyguard, for right? Us, man. All right, and he, so, and he took me to the concert, right? Okay, he took you to the concert. Mike, okay. Mike was about 220 pounds, about yeah. six foot one. Yeah, no way, no way. And he looked look mean. As a matter of fact, he starred as the dude in The Predator. In The Predator. Oh, really? Oh, that he dude. He was one of the first guys to predator. That dude. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. He had a full screen, his whole face was full screen. Wow, didn't that dude and just money he away? made to buy a, 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 um, he bought a Jeep with that money. You know what he said? Uh -huh. Shit happens. Wow. You know? So that was his line in the movie. Yeah. Wow. That, yeah, yeah. that yeah. line got himself a Jeep. A Jeep. I heard, yeah. I had no idea he <laughs> worked with the Pulse. Let me tell you. Steel Pulse hit so hard that fucking night. Let me tell you. Yeah, yeah. It blew everybody away. I'm telling you, the, the energy was so high. And my mom's friend, she was sweating. <laughs> she was old there, she was sweating in the, in the thing. So, um, by the time Urban Hancock come out, it was done. He yeah, yeah. He couldn't get nobody to move. Wait, wait. Wait. See, so what Herbie did after that, uh -huh. when he saw that shit was happening, uh -huh. they did, so a lot of people didn't even know Steve Post was on that building. Uh -huh. It was like special act. Uh -huh. So nobody knew that. Yeah. So when the people found out it was us, they were coming at a specific time, like say still was on at eight o'clock. Right, right, right. Special get special act right. on the eight, yeah, early yeah. on at nine kind of shit. Uh -huh. Herbie decided to put us on at about an hour early. Uh -huh. So we came off stage by eight, the people are coming in, <laughs> so that still post already played. Right, right. So it, they, he thought it got the people then, but what the people did was walk out. So people said, what, well, still post played already? And they said, what? We ain't going in. And they, they, they never turned up. They decided to turn back. <laughs> wow. So that, that's what happened. That's why yeah. I remember wow. that tour very well. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, because it, it was crazy. What yeah, a yeah. Trip. It was crazy. What like, a trip. And, and that was my first time seeing you guys on concert. Because my mm. boy, he was cooking for me. He's like, man, you got to come see this group, right? And I was like, yeah, I'm going to see you. You know what I mean? Mike Edmondson. So Edmondson. Mike Edmondson. Yeah, Mike Edmondson. He asked him to LA. He's telling me LA. He was here for yeah, yeah. a few months back, you know, he came in town. Yeah. Wow. Birthday wow. July twelfth. Uh, July twelfth. <laughs> you know that. You know that. Yeah, yeah. Man, yeah. Man. Uh, July twelfth. That's my favorite cousin Erica's birthday. Yeah. But Ben came in to congratulate you on fifty yeah. years yeah, of Steel Pulse right. in the music it's, industry. It's, look, it's been an honor. You know, not knowing you personally, but to your music and your song and what you created, it's a blessing, bro. You know what I mean? You can't get that too much from the people, right? Because you know, music. It's supposed to be the reflection of the time you're living, and you're supposed to have a certain vibe with it, you know, to uplift people. Mm -hmm. And that's what you do. Well, thank you, know you man. Saying? We can't do it without you. Oh my God, you're talking about and it. We can't do it without the likes of you. So <laughs> okay. give thanks. It's love, bro. It's love. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's what's up, man. Right. And right. did you tell David you rode a boat down the street during Hurricane Katrina? Oh, Katrina was a whole different thing. That was a whole different thing. <laughs> Yeah, I, sh I should have given the Ninth Ward a shout out. Uh -huh. yeah, right. we, we donated money towards those guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, it's still, it's still yeah, need we, some donation because they ain't got nothing back. Oh, yeah? Man, we, people took their money. We, we made t shirts especially uh -huh. for those guys. And uh -huh. we raised that money. We sent it right down into the. the yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, you know, it, it may have helped yeah. some folks, but I'm telling you, yeah, yeah. You know, right. it was like, you know. Yeah, we did what we could. Boy, well, that's all you do, you know what I mean? Yeah. What year was that? 2007? 05. 05. It was 05. Right down here in the oh. you know what I'm saying?
So, it was 20 years ago from the year. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. what are we going to do there? You're going to uh, get us down here celebrating uh, uh, the 20th anniversary of Hurricane Katrina. Dig it, dig it, dig That's it, what we're going to do. That's why we're going to be here you know, this my year. Cousin, my cousin, why would you celebrate something that's good? Yeah, because. No, no, you're going to uplift it. It's uplift. Is that uplift? Yeah. Because. Ah, you're not yeah. celebrating something that's negative. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, yeah. no. We're commemorating. Yes, it's not the wrong way. That's that's what what do do. That we remember them. It's yeah. remembering. Commemorate is a different word. We're remembering. You said celebrate. Well, we're remembering. You said celebrate. Uh, we remembering. Right, yeah. There we go. You tell, Skelly. There we you tell him, Skelly. There we go. You tell him, Skelly. Whatever it is. You tell him. Uh, uh, whatever it is, we're going to make our ass. He's a celebration. Whatever it is, we're going to make our ass present right here. Make your ass present. Right, 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 right. I'm going to have very look into that, bro, because, you know, he puts the festival on here. And we definitely get that happening, you know what I mean? So is it true that Steel Pulse has performed in New Orleans more than any reggae band on earth? Is that true? Probably. Ooh. Probably, I don't know. Is that really true? I, I, That's I, what I, the announcer said on stage woo. tonight. Well, I tell you, you what. You know, there could be a hint of truth behind it. Yeah. Uh, I know our demographics back in the day, you know, we used to do sand scans for um, Yeah, sand scans, yeah. Uh -huh. San Diego was, uh, was one of the high play, you know, on the high in the playlist. New Orleans, New Orleans, Orleans too. Uh -huh. yeah, North yeah. Virginia. Um, Los Angeles, of course, uh -huh. Chicago, um, New York, of course, those key cities, Washington, D.C., uh -huh. places like that. Uh -huh. right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what, I know New York did love Steel Pulse. See, all the cats, I was, I was out there with today, because uh -huh. before I came here, I was at, 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 the, uh, at the car wash with my boys and everything. They all hear about, after the Saints lost, mm -hmm. they're like, oh, bro. We go and see Steel Pulse. <laughs> <laughs> How can I forget San Francisco as yeah. well when it comes to Sands Gang? San Francisco uh, was yeah, one of the, the, Yeah, that yeah. was, they just oh. did a big show with Shaka Khan. Yeah, well, oh, Shaka Khan. Started, with, yeah. with more people than yeah. you ever seen in your life. Yeah. And they weren't there, they were there for the Pulse, Ooh. but that uh, was... <laughs> so wow. How, how, that, how does that make you feel, bro? Shaka Khan? No, no, I mean, you know <laughs> what your work that you've done over this time period, you know? Because you well, started, you probably blew music since you was a kid or something. Well, kiddish. Yeah. I was in my late teens when we started out, uh -huh. that's what I'm saying. Well, well, when it came to mind what we wanted to do. Oh, uh, But we came into this business not treating it as a business, Just but money. more something like, so there was no money behind the, the sentiments and the, um, the aspirations that we had. It was all about us having something to say from a British perspective. Because right, right, after right. all, it was Jamaican music. Definitely so the Jamaicans did. had something to say from their perspective. And I thought we could exercise our mind from right, a British right, perspective. Right, right. So this is why Steel Pulse um, got into play. So we didn't know it was going to take us from one thing to the next until okay. we started to escalate and start to soar uh -huh. into the heavens with our with our music. So And we didn't have no inkling to look into the future and see that we'll be still existing after you know, that's 50, amazing. 50 years, 50 years. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was the furthest thing from our minds. Oh, right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Just to have that voice. Yeah, yeah. That Just, yeah, that's right, from you our know? perspective. Right, right. And, for, and Alex, for me, for me, um, I picked up the guitar like at 30. You know what I mean? And putting from New Orleans and knowing the history of the influence that we had on regular music here. And I figured, well, you know, I have to make a point the same way. And that's what got me started mm -hmm. in getting involved with the music, you know. Mm -hmm. And just to have the same thing, have a voice. And, and for, another thing for me is like to repent for my former sins when I was growing up in this, doing all kind of stuff, you know, to get ahead and do whatever you do, mm -hmm. you know. And now have a voice to be able to like, okay, I'm repent. Right. And with the music, with, you know, through the music, through song inspiration you know you know and being uplifting and people and stuff you know i think that you know, that's pretty cool okay. and like i said following these guys and all the you know uh all the jamaican artists and uh, you know at the height of their careers and being inspired you know what i mean and your songs and albums and all the albums you know wow. heard crisis uh true democracy you name it you know what i'm saying that's Katrina got him. Yeah, yeah. 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 Now, now Ben and his wife also have a mansion for you to stay, and they oh, own an Airbnb. Man. 
an Airbnb. Yeah, they own an Airbnb. Yeah, Airbnb. So yeah. tell us about. Yeah, yeah. So tell us about Happiness Haven and oh, yeah, have, you, you know, the Pulse can stay there when they. It's right here in the Seven Bar. Uh, Happiness House and Happiness Haven. It's around the corner. So it's, a, it's a big spread, fully loaded. You know, courtyard, whole experience. You know, I was just telling her, we just had some guests came in Wednesday. And uh, here's some older ladies, some older white ladies from Georgia. Mm -hmm. And we just had an incident where um, this teenager had broke out of the correction facility. Okay. And didn't know he was living right across the street from the house. So these women just came in and they called me because they couldn't get the lights on. So I'm driving to get over there and I see the whole block blocked off. I'm like, oh shit. Because I heard it. I don't Forensic, know what it was. Forensic files. Right, right, right. <laughs> so, and I couldn't tell my wife because she would have freaked out. You know what I'm saying? And I'm glad these folks didn't see because they would have left. They would have like, we got to get out of here. So what was it then? They were trying to catch this little cat. Oh. And he had oh. escaped. And they was trying. That would have done your business. Oh, it would have done. Time. It would have been done. It would have done. Shit down. And and yes, yes. Don't come here. You know, you yes, know that when they yes, give yeah. you that. It just so happened they had the, they had the blinds down, and they had just gotten there. So it was there eating and drinking and talking. I just put the lights on. Wow. And act like nothing was happening. You know, go back wow. outside, talk to the police. Say, I hope y'all gonna be quiet. Don't make no noise. You know what I'm saying? But they was like, it's okay. They were just looking for this guy. They found him in Baton Rouge. So okay. You know what I'm saying? But that was like. Mm -hmm. Wow. So Mimi would have been sick, bro. I know. <laughs> I, I ain't told her yet. I haven't even told her. Don't tell her. Mimi, uh, if you're watching this interview. No. <laughs> no, I'm, 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 I'm sure yeah. from next week or something. You know? yeah, yeah. I took a video of uh, the incidents, you know, all these folks out there. Yeah, you know. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So there right. you go. Right, all right. David Dredd. Well, That's thank you, Dredd, for um, taking time to speak with Awareness Productions right. and the Fancy Lady Music Channel. We love you and we appreciate you. Yeah. And congratulations on 50 years in music. It don't even seem like 50 years. It's and 40, it's the 40th anniversary of Earth Crisis. That's right. The album that I grew up with. Earth. Yeah. Earth. And people say my dad raised me, but I think David Hines actually uh, raised me. <laughs> he's still raising me to this day and oh, giving me well, advice. So. It's, it's <laughs> Trina Makings right now. It's the first time in the band's entire career that we played the entire album from back to front on the uh, stage in one night. Wow. wow. So it's, yes, it's only two songs here, three songs here. Uh, Grab Educations, we've never played that live before. Right, you grab no, really? No. Oh my yeah, God. Toronto Go, we've hardly done that. No, oh Earth my God. Earth Crisis, we ain't done that for years. Uh, wow. Other ones, other ones we ain't done for a while. Did somebody, did somebody professionally video the whole thing? For the yes, documentary? Yes, Nolan, okay, Nolan, good. I think. Nolan, Nolan okay. Yeah, Nolan, Nolan, yeah. Big up, shout out to Nolan, great job. Yeah, yeah, Nolan, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then the new Lucky Dude Bay track you did right. tonight. Uh, you heard it? Yes, yeah, it yeah, was, yeah. Um, yeah, like that was it. a nice, I love it. It's, yeah, yeah, it's no. um, that, um, that song is the truth. Someone in the audience screamed, David Hines is the truth, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but my new album we just did, it's called Crossroads. Mm -hmm. You know, we did it with my boy Diesel. We, um, we produced Lil Wayne, Drake from New Orleans. Okay. And that was the first time we even was really able to get together and come up with New Orleans African Caribbean folk. You know, okay. with a mixture of reggae, mm -hmm. a mixture of New Orleans vibe, you know. So that's the album I just put out in the 8 on 8 8. You know, we're looking to make, hopefully, you know, be able to push a Grammy or something. Yes, or, yes, or, get the Grammy. Kind of shit, he submitted you know it saying? for Grammy consideration. Yeah. 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 In the, in, the, in the you know in the, in the regional roots you know it's regional it's a New Orleans thing you know what I mean because I'm singing a song about New Orleans growing up and stuff and such you know with a, a slight uh, uh, beat uh, from from uh, the hip hop crew you know uh -huh. they got uh -huh. some vibes going yeah we'll amazing. get we'll hook David up with the copy yeah yeah oh we'll, yeah we'll give you a copy yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And check a, it out and um, and a rock a wild T-shirt yeah all, rock, all rock, right yeah, 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 so rock, all right thank you all right uh, lovely <laughs> brothers thank you yeah, yeah. Right. Respect, respect, respect. Yeah, right. Max Max yeah, right. respect.